My dear video friends, you could be getting so many more clients if you just stopped making this mistake when negotiating your prices. Why do I know? Well, because I grew my own video agency from zero to over $40,000 per month and I struggled with this mistake too. But once I stopped doing it, I never had a month below $10,000 anymore. So, wanna hear it? The problem is texting, chatting and emailing back and forth. And here's why that is a problem. So let's say a potential client is looking for a videographer. They're asking their friends if they know somebody, they go on Google and they research and somehow, they found you, either through a friend's referral or just through the search engine. So now they get in contact with you. They send you a text, they send you a DM, or they send you an email. And in that email, they explain a little bit what the project is gonna be about, and they ask you for your prices. And here's the problem, you just give it to them. And that is not good. Yes, sometimes you get lucky and they say, cool, let's do it. But typically, it ends up with them not answering your email, your text, or your chat, and then, actually ghosting you even though you reach out multiple times and you never hear back. Have you experienced that before? Well, here's how you can fix it. When somebody reaches out to you, ask them to hop on a call with you. Now the best timing to do that is ASAP. So if they have a number in their email, you immediately call them. If you do not have a number, that is when you just write them back and say, hey, I would love to discuss this over the phone real quick. Do you have time today? If they don't, then tomorrow, but do it as soon as possible because that is when the lead is the hottest. And then when you're in that phone call, you gotta act like a doctor, meaning you diagnose the client. You ask them all the questions that are helpful for you to understand the scope of the project and the goal of the project. Because once you know that, that is when you can actually understand what is needed to deliver for that client. Now, very crucial, do not mention a price in that phone call, but rather ask the client, so Mr. Client, if we can reach that goal, what kind of budget do you have to invest into this? And now it's very rarely, just wanna preframe this correctly, it's very rare that a client actually says, oh, we have $10,000 for this. And typically they say, oh no, we don't really have a budget. You tell us what this is gonna cost. And that is when you want to price anchor high, meaning you say, well, look, Mr. Client, a video like this typically costs between $7,000 and $10,000, even though your minimum is like $3,000 or your average project is like $3,000. And by price anchoring, your client will raise their bar, their mental bar, even though they had a lower number in mind. Now, bear in mind, sometimes or typically they don't say a number, they say, oh, we don't really have a budget, but they have a number in their head. They know exactly how much they want to spend on a maximum and they know exactly when something is too expensive for them. So when you say it's gonna cost between seven, th seven to 10,000 and the client says, no, that's too much. So when you say it's gonna cost seven to 10,000, then you wanna ask, is that doable for you? And typically the client says, ah, oh, no, that's way too much. Now, if the client says yes, Great, you got yourself a seven to $10,000 deal. But if the client says, nah, that's too much, you say, okay. So let's assume we can achieve this goal that you're aiming for. What is it worth to you? What is the maximum you can do? Now, because you have set the bar high with the seven to 10,000, the client will mentally raise the price and say, well, the absolute maximum we can do is $5,000, even though they would, didn't want to spend more than $2,000 at first. So now they say $5,000, you say, cool, we can do something for $5,000 and boom, you got yourself a $5,000 video client. So if you listen closely to what I said in this video, you realize that by hopping on a call, you can not only close more clients, but you can also sell for higher prices. So imagine what this is gonna do for your video business. This is gonna give you more clients that will all pay you more than your existing clients. So you will not only increase the revenue dramatically because you have more clients, but also because you have higher prices. Therefore, it will make your business way more profitable. And that is exactly the strategy that we use to take the students in the Video Business Academy consulting program to over $10,000 a month in profit within only 60 to 90 days, which is absolutely crazy. And what's even crazier is we have a 100% success guarantee. So if that sounds like something you wanna do, if that sounds like something that is interesting to you, then go click the link below this video in the description because it leads you to a free video training where I explain step-by-step step how the Video Business Academy consulting program works and you can make a decision if that makes sense for you or not. It's absolutely free, go watch it right now and who knows, we may see each other on the other side.